What's up everyone, John from Beyond AR TV. It's time for another thinking out loud type video where I sit down and just kind of spill some thoughts that I have on whatever the topic might be. And today, this is kind of a general topic, but at the same time, there's a few specific points that I want to talk about. And some of this is theorizing, other seems to be fact, and I'm talking about obviously rap and hip hop in general. And just the violence and the weirdness that it kind of protrudes from society. It evokes something from people, I feel like, that it's been talked about all the way back to Eminem with his violent lyrics, especially ones against women, homophobic slurs, and that sort of thing. It's been talked about for the longest time. And while for the longest time, I guess I personally didn't see it as problematic, I feel like we're starting to feel the effects that it has on society. Because think about it, with hip hop and rap being the most prominent and most listened to genre in the United States right now, it's something where a lot of people, a lot of young people are really perceiving this as something that they should aim for. So now we have this influx of SoundCloud rappers, everybody trying to live that lifestyle and emulate it. And it's kind of a weird thing to see because the lyrics are so ass backwards, I feel like a lot of the time from the progress that we've made as a society. And sure, a lot of people will cry, Trump's America, that's why it's happening. Honestly, I feel like we've kind of been in the spiral for a while now, at least the past half decade or so. It's been a very weird run that we've had. So with hip hop and rap, obviously, if you sit down and listen to the lyrics, especially some of the ones that are more inclined to talking about the cliches, the bitches, the women, the drugs, the jewels, all that stuff. It's the same old garbage over and over again. And that's why I don't listen to much mainstream rap because most of it is trash. They talk about the same things and it's just the same beats and the same rolling trap hi-hats now, especially. That's what people are into. I myself prefer more conscious hip hop, at least something that has a great beat mixed with some decent lyrics on it. But that's not really what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is the effect that I feel like a lot of this music is having on younger people especially people that are just looking to that and they think about the lyrics that are talking about kind of being maybe more aggressive towards women or maybe not taking no for an answer or, that bitch gonna suck my dick and all that stuff you know the type of lyrics and I think that it's weird that a lot of people will listen to this music but at the same time also seem like kind of social justice warrior the SJW type and they're like you know I'm all for feminist rights and I want to push this and I have this idea that I back and they seem like they're all for something but at the same time then they're like sharing out like oh this new single from Lil Yachty or this new Lil Uzi Vert or obviously in the news right now XXX Tentacion because he's having some very very heavy abuse allegations just thrown at him right now and these are actually court certified documents with hundreds of pages of testimony against him. So it never surprises me whenever I hear that oh this rapper got arrested for doing this because they rap about it all the time and obviously I'm kind of not surprised whatsoever Ever, but I'm also surprised that more people haven't been arrested over the years or at least looked into. I mean, back in the day with Eminem especially. I mean, he talks about kidnapping or else killing Kim, putting her in the trunk, just beating her, just saying stop screaming. And obviously, it's not a confession on tape. You can always say, oh, it's satire. It's just a song, obviously. But at the same time, it really makes you wonder what's in the mind of some of these people. How do they actually treat friends, women, or really anybody in general on a day to day? basis. It's your party music, it's your turn up music, it's your going out music, fine, whatever. But it's also a mindset that you don't even realize, I don't think, that you're slipping into. It's something that I feel like affects people because they start to think about, oh, you know, what is ASAP Rocky or what is Lil Uzi for it? What are they, what are they talking about here? Or, wow, you know, I'm watching their music video, Travis Scott has all these jewels, all these cars, he has everything you could possibly want, probably rented for the music video, but for the sake of this video, let's say that it's all real, it's all attainable. People want to go out and get that. And how do you get that? Well, you talk about the riches, the bitches, and the snitches, and what you're gonna do to all of those things. You're gonna tear it up at the club. You're gonna fuck every girl in town. You're gonna have the most extensive car collection out there. And it's something that I can't stand to listen to, and I honestly can't stand to see a lot of people listening to, because it's like, I know that it's like, you probably have a little bit of that rubbing off on you, whether you like to admit it or not. And some people just un uh, undoubtedly just admit it to themselves. They're like, I want that. I want what Post Malone has, or I want what Lil Uzi Vert has, or I want what even Lil Wayne or Jay-Z have. Look at the empires that they've built. 
And there's nothing wrong with enjoying these songs as they are. I'm not saying that just because it's not my personal taste that you shouldn't be able to enjoy it. But at the same time, I'm seeing a societal swing towards whether it be violence or bigotry because some of these rappers have come under fire for homophobic comments like Quavo and the rest of Migos. And I'm not saying that I'm calling them out specifically because they're the only ones. It's something where I just feel like rap as a genre hasn't necessarily decided what it wants because it does accept gay rappers. We've seen that in the past, but at the same time, they come down on a lot of things like there's plenty of transphobic comments that float around and I'm not one to get into all that stuff and really just break down like who has this, who has what. But it's really weird to see as a society that we still embrace this and accept it with arms wide open seemingly. And like I said, it's the most popular genre now, hip hop and rap in America. And at the same time, we're also pushing more than ever this idea of just, you know, everything is purified. SJWs have to sanitize. And obviously when we went through the adpocalypse thing on YouTube, probably thanks to a lot of the things that were being seen in videos, maybe it be reacting to or reviewing hip hop and that sort of thing, other racially tinged things. And it's really weird how we just have these clashing ideals where it seems like on one side, we've got everybody that's embracing things like this, like uh, rap, hip hop, the themes that they talk about. And on the other side, it's like everybody pushing against it saying, oh, you know, everybody needs to be respected, everybody treated equally. But then they meet in the middle because I see these people. I don't want to get into specifics of names that I've seen because I'm sure that people will just start going crazy and saying, oh, well, they're not really like that or anything like that. But it's just funny to see how many, whether it be like a Fox News host or whether it be somebody who is seemingly very conservative or very SJW leaning, you see them like uh, talking about all of their regular ideals and then they'll post a link to a, like a rap song or something that they love with lyrics that are like the opposite of what they seemingly stand for. It's a bit hypocritical in my point of view, but maybe that's just how I see things. I'm not sure. This is just kind of how I feel. It's kind of been building up inside of me. So let me know what you guys think about this whole movie and the whole swing to this kind of culture and then the clashing cultures in the comment section down below. Like I said, this was just kind of a sit down, talk, let it flow type of video. I do hope that you enjoyed. It's obviously all just my opinion and take on things, but I will say that I have to come down hard and condemn XXX Tentacion because I feel like even though these are allegations, these are such detailed alle allegations that are brought up in court, I don't see how any of this could really just, it would all fall apart, obviously, instantly, if he could provide any evidence to these things. And the way that he plays it off is just like, oh, you believe everything that you read, or you believe everything that you see out there? It's just like, I listen to your lyrics, or I listen to a lot of these rappers' lyrics, and it's just like, I feel like I should call the cops right now, because if this is what is going on, I mean, just look at the opening line from, like, future songs. If young Metro don't trust you, I'ma shoot you. I mean, okay, tongue in cheek, whatever. But I'm just saying, these people just seemingly, I don't know, embrace violence, a weird stance towards women, and uh, I don't really care for it whatsoever. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Drop a like on the video if you wanna see more thinking out loud type videos. And other than that, you can check out a couple of recent videos right here. My Patreon's over there in the corner. All of my socials are linked in the description, and I'll see you very soon right here on Beyond AR TV.